Join me to the world of Hidden Side, the summer 2020 version. Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Brick, this is Mike and today I'm happy to show you the summer 2020 hidden side wave. Starting from the small sets like the JB's submarine right here, then to the supernatural race car going up a bit up notch is the uh, Newbury abandoned prison, then we have the Phantom Firetruck 3000 ending with the big one, the flagship of a mystery castle. These sets were sent to me by the LEGO group, so thank you so much guys for sending those sets for the review. Today, however, I'm not doing a full review, I'm gonna be showcasing these sets one by one briefly, but in this video we will focus on the actual gameplay. As you know, the hidden side is about uh, playing on your app or, or app on your tablet or on your smartphone and exploring these sets virtually exploring the ghosts unlocking the ghosts and I want to see if I can get all the ghosts including the big bad guy in this big set in this video so thank you so much for tuning in let's jump right into it in a second but before we do so I want you guys to check out the links below for things like the merch store where you can buy merch from beyond the brick like the one I have on me or the mug behind me where it's a great way to support the channel and also you can subscribe like and check out the link to my own channel called the cool factor where I also do Lego videos all right guys I can talk forever let's jump into the first set JB's submarine JB's submarine is set number 70433 with 224 pieces, three minifigures of JB, the statue of evil with really cool printing and Von Geist, which reminds me of Van Helsing for some reason. And also we get a shark, uh, possessed shark with a printing on its eyes, really cool addition to this small set, it's a $20 set. And the functionality is small as you expect, there's just some uh, sort of a sea bed creature, a demonic creature that you can activate through the slide in the back. Uh, there's the hidden side marker for the app on the one side and a few other markers to trigger more ghosts uh, during the gameplay. And also the highlight of this set, the submarine, has a really cool printed canopy actually. That's, that is not a sticker so it looks very very good. The submarine is simple, hosts one minifigure, it's very colorful and has some stickers on the top and nothing else beyond that. So pretty cute set with good selection of minifigures, but let's get to the gameplay. The submarine set has some really nice gameplay map. Uh, the virtual maps are sometimes big, sometimes small. This one is big. If you move the iPad to the left and to the right, it has quite a terrain to cover. It's sort of like an underwater lava flow. It has a lot of places of gloom you can uncover. Some of these are even way uh, ahead of the set, so you have to move your device quite close to yourself to find them, which is fun, of course. And the boss for this set is Creatoru, some sort of like an underwater ghost. And I gotta say that the bosses in Hidden Side are quite challenging. My account has like little to no upgrades, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat a boss anytime soon. But I'm gonna keep practicing, so forgive me if you think that I pretty much bad at this game. Because I didn't really beat any boss in this gameplay video, but I wanted to try it out. First time ever I actually fought bosses. And the, the first one I tried is actually challenging, so uh, I hope you guys are better than me in beating bosses. Enjoy some gameplay as well, and let's move to the next set in a second.
Moving up, we have the 70434 Supernatural race car with 244 pieces and $30 price tag with three minifigures and the dog of Spencer. The minifigures are Jack, Von Geist again and the Shadow Walker. The car itself is something between a buggy and a hot rod or maybe just a hot rod buggy. It does have a cool color scheme of this orange of orange and dark green. A really cool build for the front, I really like it. Uh, wheels are also oversized in the back like a proper hot rod should be. And the functionality for this guy is, well, back to the future anyone. It does actually turn into a flying vehicle, uh, which is fun, but also that function doesn't lock into place. So driving this on a surface sometimes gets this function activated with no means from you. It does have some uh, markers for the hidden side up on the side as usual, the hidden side sets go, and a plethora of stickers that actually make it even cooler in my opinion, so not a bad set at all. On the race car set we are located on some sort of a stretch of a road next to the bridge and there is the Maxine Turbo Workshop or gas station or just a pit stop on the road. It's a pretty big also map to find gloom and play with. Maxine Turbo is the actual boss ghost in this set. She's also very hard to beat. Uh, I, I think even spams more orbs that really get, eat your battery really really fast. I like how colorful this uh, gameplay um, arena was. Uh, you gotta actually also pay attention on how to position your car. The first time I positioned my car to my front, the front uh, towards me, and there was an element of the virtual playground that really covered the car and the ghosts for me. So I had to flip the car, position it to the back of me, and then I was able to play the level. So something to keep in mind when you play it, I think it's a small glitch, but it's still very, very playable. And actually I like that when you get to the boss ghost, you actually get into sort of a chase and the car is moving and there's things flying and it's really chaotic and hard to beat. Next we have 70435 Newbury Abandoned Prison, 400 pieces set even for the dollars price tag and also plenty of minifigures. We have Spencer, the ghost dog, Maximus, the chihuahua, Jack, Rami, El Fuego in his skeleton form and Nate Lockem, <laughs> which is the name for the security guard and he also comes with a second head as the possessed haunted version. The prison is fun in a way that the whole building, as usually the hidden side buildings go, and turns into a monster. So it has the claws in form of the turrets, which you can rotate and the front massive secure door open to unveil the mouth and all those little lamps on the top, the searchlights are turning into the eyes of the monster. So it's really cool looking from afar as this set becomes a mouth of the monster abyss, I guess. We have the up marker on one side and a basketball court on the other, which is a really nice addition for the environment. Two cells that can be also opened on the sides and the massive secure door for cell 1805. That might be some reference to a horror movie or something, maybe. It seems like El Fuego was being kept there. Definitely the look of the monster face on that building is the highlight of this set, but let's get to the actual gameplay.
When you look at the prison in the gameplay, it explains the looks of the set a lot. Um, I think it's just the entrance to a bigger prison complex. You can see the in the app the set is positioned at the front, and then in the back we have some bigger cells, some sort of like a cliff, uh, like the prison is built into a rock. There is some scary looking sky in the background. Overall, graphically very pleasing. It has some Easter eggs to the other sets. You can probably spot here and there on the virtual gameplay arena. And I just like the overall color scheme and looks of it. The big bad ghost in this one is Bart Cheney. Again, very challenging, but I like this gameplay quite a bit just because like how he flies and how he spams the orbs. Plus the scenery is actually very fitting for that ghost. So I did enjoy it. All right, let's enjoy some gameplay before we move to the other set. The Phantom Firetruck 3000, set number 70436 with 760 pieces and $60 price tag with a plethora of minifigures, 5 figs, actually 4 figs and a bot, and the Slenderman. Or we should just call him Neymar Rim, the Harbinger version, which is the ultimate, I guess, a manifestation of this bad guy. We also have Jack Parker JB TV, the cool bot, and Shadow Walker. And honestly, I think this is my second favorite set of this wave. The fire truck looks awesome. It might be actually one of the best fire trucks ever made in LEGO. It's 8 stud wide, doesn't even compare to any of the city fire trucks. I think I like this one much better. It has some plenty of room inside, it has some functions to it. Like the turret, which turns into a mech, which is so unexpected. It's basically a mini transformer. Uh, you can have either the turret to fight the ghost or the massive mech that goes from it. Uh, looks really cool. I just like this set so much. The building experience was fun. And of course, in this set, we get the Slender Man, the demon uh, that we never seen before in uh, Lego. Neymar Rim turns into this thing and it's really intimidating. And I think the fire truck is the only vehicle capable of fighting it. All right, let's see the gameplay. The fire truck arrives at the burning building in the middle of the city, so you can see that the mech in the game is actually sort of like a actually firefighting vehicle with sort of extinguishers in his arms instead of uh, weapons against ghosts. Anyway, the truck is looking really good in this one. You have plenty of uh, hiding places for the gloom as well. I am uh, somewhat disappointed that it doesn't have the big Neymar Rim uh, somewhere in that gameplay. He doesn't really arrive at any point in time. And the big bad ghost in this set is Blaze M. Bar, which is sort of like a flame ghost manifestation. Also very hard to fight. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to play to actually beat those bosses, but the scenery of the burning building and similar race or ch pursuit of the ghost like we had in the race car set is here as well and I think that kind of uh, fast paced scenery is very fun to play with and I like the also colorfulness of the set and just the overall setting and the pack of details that we were able to uh, find during gameplay.
and the last but certainly not the least 70437 mystery castle a uh, thousand and thirty five pieces with a hundred dollars price tag and uh, well six minifigures with a really cool version of Neymar Rim. this guy comes with a beautiful mold for that veil of ghostly shadow whatever he's floating on but this is sort of like his middle version before he turns into that big Harbringer thingy from the fire truck set. And I think even the scepter is visible in this set. That might be the source of his power. We also get two Shadow Walkers, Jack, Von Geist again and Parker. I really want to hover on this set for a few more seconds. I think it looks really good both in its closed form and in the open one as you disconnect the brick in the middle in between the walls which is very well hidden by the way. You can actually open the courtyard which allows for more play opportunities. There is plenty of stickers in this set actually. Quite a few of them I think two sets are to go through. Most of them are for the walls where you see that ghostly energy shining through and some old bricks also here and there. Some tainted windows in that middle section with the image of the ruler of the castle which actually look pretty cool. Nice looking facade and overall good architecture and asymmetry because you do have the gate on one side, the astronomy tower on one corner with three levels and a, a scope uh, at the top and plenty of towers throughout with some nice windows. Overall a good looking piece of architecture I would say so this set defends as a display piece on its own. The hidden side marker for the apt is very well hidden within that middle tower and it just uh, switches the front of the castle to for the app to catch. And even though the interior is not much honestly, I think most bricks went to the looks of the castle. There is some nice things like the throne room of the Neymar which is at the top floor. You can see the scepter that actually turns him I think into the Harbringer. Some other artifacts I'm not very familiar with so you may probably guess them. And the middle floor, the middle room holds the second function uh, after that opening of the set which is just a trapdoor and you just get into the abyss or the mouth of some creature living in the basement which is pretty cool actually. I like that functionality and how the uh, claws of the creature move together with the trapdoor. But without further ado, let's get to the app gameplay because there is some really cool things to uncover in this set. The gameplay level is looking wonderful for the castle. It's on top of the mountain like a proper evil lord castle should be. It's not much of a gameplay arena because the castle is only limited to the rock adjacent to it. So there is nothing beyond that like the other levels. But it does have some cool looks to it. It's kind of the creepiest set of the entire wave. It has a lower and the upper level. So some of the gloom carriers are like cats here and there. You can capture them to uncover the gloom. And the big bad ghost in this one is a creepy looking and creepy called the mall. And I think that is like the closest to our actual horror movie ghost as we've come in this wave of hidden side sets. All right, let's try to fight him. Again, I did not beat him. Uh, maybe you will try and let me know in the comment section below. Uh, enjoy the gameplay.
Alright, I think that's it. Enjoyed the gameplay? Well, I did. I think Hidden Side is evolving in the right way. The app is more responsive, for me at least, as I compare it to the first versions. Um, it has more functionality, you can unlock more things, some really cool new ghosts. So every time a wave comes out, I think they're trying, they're going in the right direction with the uh, functionality and the fun the, the app gives to you. Certainly a great expansion to these sets. Personally, I like these sets as they are because they are so much fun, uh, like a homage to the monster fighters or the old, uh, you know, more uh, scary sets. Uh, they just defend on their own, but the app is just an extra perk. I do enjoy, so I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing mostly the gameplay. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, let me know in the comment section below if you have these sets, if you enjoy the gameplay, which one is maybe your favorite, are you getting them? Let us know, we always love to hear your feedback. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe, like and do all these things, it was Mike, and I'll see you next time on Beyond the Break. Bye! Join me to the world of Hidden Side! <laughs> blah 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 blah! Blah! Count Dracula blah! That was good, I got the outro in one take, oh it's still on and I'm just dancing, okay I gotta find space for these guys now, it's gonna be terrible, bye!